all right welcome back everyone to season two of pixelmon let's go all right so i'm gonna be picking my starter again and i actually really like my charmander i think i might keep the charmander charmander or chimchar i like the fire um especially because i don't see i don't find very many fire ones so i think i'm gonna stick with the uh with the charmander begin your adventure so i will see you in the next one well see you in the next part <laughs> Welcome everybody to Pixelmon Season Two. Oh my! Oh yeah! Let me, let me zoom out here. Look at all the. We almost have. This is a really tight circle. Yeah. Just saying. It is. Yeah. It's yeah. actually really, really good. We're all real friends. We can get They're tighter friends. though. Okay, that's. Flash <laughs> band. <laughs> um, there are a few changes this season. The first of which is the name. It is no longer Pixelmon. Let's go. It is Pixelmon. <gasps> evolved oh. Woo. Yeah. that's pretty good that's pretty good there's also a couple other things to mention there will be a community warp area much like uh later in the season last season we had that wonderful building that nevris was working on and didn't get to finish but that's okay nevris this time you will finish <laughs> <laughs> he is <laughs> <laughs> um there's gonna be a community warp area to warp back and forth between bases and the uh i guess spawn or shop area mm -hmm. uh, i guess this is technically spawn area mm -hmm. um there will be a shopping area with custom NPCs, anything your little hearts desire from a custom Ooh. custom NPC will be available. You just have to earn the Poke Dollars for it. Woo, woo. Okay. And then earn it. we have some mods. Um, oh most people will probably notice this is not a vanilla um, biome. We have <laughs> biomes aplenty. There is a trading card game, which I'm personally a little bit excited about. I think that's going to be Yay. fun. It's going to be so awesome. It's going to be amazing. Uh, TCG. TCG. Thank you. Trading TCG. Card trading card game. game. Uh, chisel, we have the chisel mod, block craftery, don't even know what that is, lag goggles, I guess that's helpful in reducing lag and stuff, mm -hmm. um, iron chests, better builders, wands, and J-E-I, which is what, the map? Uh, yeah, just, yep. no, press E. Uh, you'll see on the right. Just enough I, oh, 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 right, okay. It helps Makes you with sense. recipes. Um, having said all that, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. I guess it's time to get going. And, oh, gyms. You want me to mention gyms, right, Tilda? Yeah. Yes. Gym. Okay, so last season we made it so that only the winners of tournaments would have their own gyms. But this season, not gyms, gyms. Uh, everybody will have the ability Everybody will have the ability to build a gym and get a gym badge that uh, people will earn from each other. So that's kind of exciting. Everybody, you can, there's a lot of badges to collect because there's like 40 plus people on the server. So that'd be kind of, kind of fun. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Everybody throw out your Pokemon. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Okay, wait, 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 Cisco, yeah, Jack, where, where are we going? Uh, from this what, 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 what happened? biome. All right. Um, here we go. As we pass by the Southeast mega from the biome is the shopping area. Why is this the biggest deal with mega pins? These things are giant. Oh, what is this? Layer pins are. I did. Right, I said, uh, where are we going? I'll take off and deal with uh, house uh, renovation stuff, but I'll be back right. later today. Cool. Oh, see ya. See ya. Go. I'm going. So much lavender. My goodness. Oh, I see Give it. me Jesus all Christ. the lavender. <laughs> Jump into the lava. I ne I just realized I never got Optifine installed. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think I actually did either. Uh oh. Well, look at this. Go, this go, go. Go. Portals yeah. everywhere. Get that way. You saw it. There's so many portals. Uh, so south east. Was it right? south east? Look at the shiny thing. thing? Here. Southeast. So the glasses the are part of the mega evolutions. Uh, the mega evolutions. Go they marked it out so that there's right. a, a town square. Right there. So there's the, the bracelet, um, and, there and then are there's the glasses. There's 22 uh, different types of shopkeepers that have each type of TM. So this is for every Pokemon type, there is a TM this, for it. This, this looks like they're going Ooh. to uh, summon something in the middle. It's like the Costco <laughs> <of> Pixelmon. <laughs> Can I just put a small um, thing saying this is not a square, this is a circle? It is Squirtle. a circle, yeah. But it's Squirtle. Can you make a stone item? Yeah. 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 Ah, okay, I'll have to look at that. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. what is that? Yeah. 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 It's a town circle. Uh, wow. There is going to be a so square within a circle. 24, uh, like, uh, what do you call oh, them? NPCs in total. 
I will not be placing the move tutor because that's a, like a very manual process and I have to add every single type of uh, price for each move, which is 170 moves. Oof. Um, so once we have a permanent spot for that guy, then I'll add it. Um, okay. We do I'll have a move here. learner. Well, I'll take a gamble. Oh, yeah. um, I'll be oh, adding yeah. two uh, trainers. One for the lower level, which would be level 25, and then a level 80 trainer, so that you could grind sure. them to I'll get easy up. levels and uh, pokey dollars. Oh, I'm, That's I'm something be else that we agreed uh, uh, in the meeting. Money at this guy. Uh, they're so, not added yet, though. Pokemon centers now have loot in them, so don't be yes. greedy. I forgot to mention. Nebris. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nebris. By the way, there's a Pokemon center up here. <laughs> oh, we forgot to mention mm. another thing during the intro basically uh the whole transfer of items and pokemon from season one uh people got to choose it's an optional thing you don't have to do it at all uh anywhere from one to six pokemon withheld items uh as well as nine different stacks of items uh you're able to do so that won't be today that I'll be giving it to you guys. It's a process that I have to hop in voice with you. So we'll be doing it after today. You can bother me about that. Okay. If you want your items bother, and, bother, 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 bother. <laughs> and Pokemon. Oh, oh my god, course. lag. And of for the Pokemon, we won't be of using them not. for one month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of sure. course, uh, no one was cheeky and try to sneak in the shulker box. <laughs> yeah, no shulker boxes. There's a rule against that, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I thought oh, about yeah, it and I was just like, no, man, oh, waypoints in chat? everyone would figure that out. Um, so with the shopkeepers, oh. you can actually pick a shopkeeper of your choosing and like build a stall around them. However, I'm not sure that how that's going to go because everybody mm -hmm. might want to do something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so honestly, yeah, what I would say is just whenever someone wants to pick up the, the job of it, <laughs> to build a giant shopping area, then we transfer them all into their proper areas. So just like call it the Pokemon or something. Yeah, the Pokemon. So, question: Where are people getting those fancy jackets from? Uh, from the the staff of Pixelmon oh. Mod. Yeah. Yeah. We did we... that for season one. I'd just never seen them before. I was wondering. All right. Hello, hello, everyone. So, I know everybody said this, but welcome to Pixel Mod Season 2. So, with this this season, we're going Pixel Mod Evolved, and it is going to be mm, 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 amazing. It's going to be great. Um, so, this is where, first of all, let me, let me just kind of go, go back into it. I'm so glad we're starting Season 2. I'm so glad we're going to be able to get back into it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and so, for this season, the BLB uh, have decided that we're going to do a jungle area. Uh, and you'll you'll find this funny. I'm gonna do a, a short montage, a quick montage in a minute, of um, the area where we traveled. So if you look at this map, all the way zoomed out, um, it took us freaking three hours to find this place. Uh, Jack and I first started going north. Uh, I kind of went. I believe it was over this way. No, I I went more of a straight line. I went this way, and then. No, 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 no. So it was this way. So it was originally here. Then I kind of went to the left. And then I went up. And I did all of this. All of this took three hours. We're trying to find this area. And then right around, I think right around there, like I came back to here. Jack said he found one. I was like, oh, thank God. So we started. I went. We went over to here. And this is where we are setting up. Now... <laughs> Uh, on the way back to spawn before we got our teleport plates, we freaking, I went back in a straight line to spawn and I found this right here, which is a jungle that's only a thousand blocks away from spawn. <laughs> of course. Um, but you know what? I'm actually kind of glad that we found this one over here because I like this area much more. This kind of has bogs, which isn't bad. This jungle, that's a forest over there. Um, so this jungle over here um is next like bogs and stuff which isn't bad it's not not great but not bad um whereas over here where we are we have you know the forests we have the eucalyptus forest we have uh a whole bunch of different things we have a really cool peak over uh where's over here that i think i'm going to turn into a lighthouse and then once we get everything settled here i also found a really cool spot as we were starting out on the way out from spawn 
which is where? Over here, right here. So this is a bog, I believe was what it's called. And it's kind of, it reminds me of a swamp, like a very Louisiana swamp. So I'm going to set a, um, kind of do like a princess and the frog type area, but that's, that's way down the line. Uh, so let's, uh, quickly cut to that montage so you can see exactly how long it freaking took. And I'll see you guys back in a minute. Peace. All right, so now that you guys have seen that, let's uh, kind of take you around the base as we have it right now. Um, so let's see. We got all this down here. We got the, the portal. Looks like Jack's starting to grow some uh, cocoa. We got the portal right there. You know, no, there's nothing that great in the nether. We're not going to do another hub since we have these warp plates, which I'll show you kind of how they work. You step on them, and it takes you back to spawn. So look at that. Uh, ooh, free gear. Not the shulker. Oh my God, look at all these. Holy crap. I will take, uh, where was that silk touch? I will take that. No, I already have a silk touch. Jack already gave me a silk touch. So I'm all good actually. My God, look at that. Although I'm surprised that this shulker is clear. I don't know. I don't quite know why that's happening. I'll have to look at that. There's my, there's the end chest, some free stuff to for, up for grabs. Oh, there's tilted. Hey, tilted. <laughs> she's looking the other way. I think she's doing someone's portal. Um, yeah, 
And so let's uh, head back over to the base. Where is it? Over here? Nebris, Omni, Sober Bartender, Tilted, Flues, Kaysen, Zylo, Babs, Zobi, Mario. There we are. BLB base. This is our storage area for the moment because we're going to be building those bungalows that are going to look great. Um, and then we have our little setup there, our little trading booth, uh, PCs. Oh, looks like Jack has made some automatic mechanical anvils, which is great. Our little enchanting station. And then just, you know, your basic little mine. I'm not going to go down there because it's literally just a basic mine going in a straight line. Um, and so the next thing that we're going to do is talk about these bungalows. So Jack is going to be making this bungalow here, and I want to wait to make the other ones, like that, that main center one. Ooh, a little bit of a little bit of FPS lag. I think it's maybe because of the shaders. I might have to tweak some things here and there. Uh, but I'm going to wait until Jack is done with this, or at least we have the dimensions out, because the dimensions of this first one will affect the dimensions of the other smaller ones. And... We're going to have these really cool rope bridges that go back and forth in between. And um, we're going to get all, have different areas for different things. So one's going to be for, um, not apricorns, we're going to do apricorns and actually the plains, which is over there. Um, we're going to have one for food, like a grouping for food, which is going to have potatoes and, and um, maybe some chickens if we can find some. And what else? Uh, pumpkins and all that good stuff and then what else what else is next um and then we're gonna have one for breeding and we're gonna have like a, a cluster for breeding and just kind of go off there I, I don't remember everything we're gonna have um the oh never said no sleeping we're gonna have does he want to sleep he didn't say anything if anyone says he's seen crowers he did do okay yeah no he doesn't say he wants to sleep and also you can see we have the sleeping mod, which is great. We're going to have the enchanting in one. We're going to have probably the Pokeball in one. Oh, look at that. So you only need 22%. I'm fine with that. I mean, that's perfectly, that's great for me. I love it. Um, yeah. And so let me also show you this eucalyptus wood that, that I'm going to be using for a lot of it. So this is the way that the wood looks on its own. And then this is the way that the planks look. And I absolutely freaking love it. I mean, like, look at that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. I cannot wait. Uh, I do not want to fight Joltik. I will run. Uh, so I'm going to be making a lot of the platforms in there with the... Ooh, we're at my death markers here. Because I died. Uh, boop, 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 remove. There we go. Close. And so, yeah, I'm going to be making the bungalows all around here, and it is going to be amazing. And I think finally, the final thing that's going to happen with the, in this episode is I'm going to talk to you about the long-term goals that I have. So, uh, one of these bungalows is going to have these. Like, this is going to be the first one that I make. Or actually, no, that might be in the main one. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll talk to Jack about that, and we'll see about it. But I'm going to have, I'm going to steal from Case an idea that he had for his stream. I'm going to have a wall of, a, of things I want to do. So obviously I want to, this season, I actually want to catch them all. You know, got to Pokemon, got to catch them all, of course. Um, and then I want to be able to, I want to learn and have a video on the condensed version of how breeding and IV and EV training works. So that way, if anyone needs to search for it, they can look that up and it will be concise to the point, no rambling, just maybe if I can fit it in a five or 10 minute video, just here's the facts that you need. Here's what you need to do. That's what it is. Um, I'm also going to be making the triathlon. I don't know where yet. Uh, probably somewhere close-ish to spawn. I have to talk to Tilt and everyone to see um, if we can build around there. I know that there's no base building because that's like a... You can build direct... Um, not directional. Um, bases that aren't used. The bases that look good around spawn. But I don't know. I should be able to... We should be able to figure out a way to do kind of like a game area. And so I'm going to do a triathlon, I'm going to do the um, archery game, and I'm going to do the fishing hook game that we designed last in the last season. Um, yeah, so that's what I have mainly right now. I want to make not only this base look absolutely amazing, but I also want to um, make that other bog base. And I kind of want to make a whole bunch of different bases, maybe in a couple of different areas. 
Um, and then I want to just completely be able to learn and demolish uh, everyone in the leagues that we're doing this year. So we're definitely going to do an OU draft league again this year. Um, a little bit down the line, maybe maybe in a month or two, once everyone th everything is kind of settled and everyone has their ideas flowing. Um, and so I think that's going to be everything for this episode. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of the grindy work and stuff on stream. And I'm going to try to do some of the other work on stream. So you will come in, in the further episodes, you will come and you will see some progress on these. So if you'd like to come check out my stream, um, I stream for the most part, you know, with my school and work being allowing me to, I stream on Sunday nights, uh, from Sunday nights, Monday nights and Friday nights, all from 8.30 p.m. EST to 10.30 p.m. EST. Sometimes I run a little bit late, sometimes I run a little bit early, um, and sometimes I might have to miss it, and I'll post, I'll try to post either on my Twitter for that, uh, Twitter or YouTube discussions if I have one of those. I'm not, sure if I'm not even sure if I have one of those. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and do a lot of the interesting um, and, and condensed versions here. So I'll probably do a couple of the bungalow buildings on YouTube and I'll do IVS and EVS training on here. Although I'll do a lot of the bulk of that on stream because that takes a long, long time and I know that. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm gonna divvy it up between the two. Hopefully, well, hopefully it's gonna be a good marriage. We'll see uh, and we'll adjust as time goes on. Um, but for the time being, that's where I'm gonna end this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Peace.